Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we've been asked to talk about um, HDMI extenders, which are these things. Or more accurately, should we call them HD over CAT cable extenders. Um, we've already done a video on this model on the left hand side, which is the Technomate TM55HD. So if you want to leave this video very quickly, have a look through our library and put in TM55HD. You'll find the video on uh, this particular unit. It's handy to go and have a quick look because obviously then the video on this new unit will make more sense. And of course, inside that video, we talked about uh, how to wire it up, the pros and cons, and of course, the distance that it will actually travel. So if you've been to have a look at that, and uh, you're now back. Welcome back. If you're not and you're just carrying on, here we go. TM 55 HD. So the 55 in this model number is significant because that's the manufacturer's claim that this will pass HD 55 meters down cat cable and not the cat 5 copper copper cable which is excellent we're talking about cat 6 if you've seen the video you'll know what i'm talking about and what that distance actually represents so this is a new unit uh, that's out and it's from uh, a company called hd anywhere and yes i did say that is the company name which is quite odd um it's Primarily for domestic use, but of course it can be commercial as well. Now, I usually do a side-by-side -side comparison. Tell you which has got what, you know. Is that better in certain regards? Is this better? I can't do that today because this unit only claims to run 30 metres. And I say only. Oh, it's plenty for domestic use. But that says 30 metres and this claims 55. So unfortunately... That's got to be pushed out of the way for the minute. So, this is our new unit. HD Anywhere, that's the make. On the front, it says XTND. And down here, in the small print, you won't be able to see this, but I'll repeat it. XTND 2K, that's significant. 30 in brackets, HDMI extender. So, look on its side there. It does actually say 2K. So obviously it's not a 4K unit, but 2K means it will run 720 content and 1080 HD content. And on the other side, it says 30M, of course, because it claims to do 30 metres. Um, just a little bit about the company. I'd been told that they uh, were a British company that obviously had all their equipment manufactured in China. And I did spot on the back there, which proves it very small. Again, you can't see it. It says UK designed. China assembled, but there's no surprise there for electronics that it's built in China. So when do we use this unit? Well, for the purposes of today, let's say you've got a television downstairs that's got either your CCTV on it or just basic Sky TV. Let's say it's not CCTV related. So either you've got your unit downstairs, but upstairs, you want to be able to view those units, whether it's for your television sky or to see if anyone's prowling down your property on the night when your uh, line crossing detection uh, bleeper is going off. You want to see it upstairs in your bedroom. So let's talk about what's inside it and then we'll talk a little bit about how to wire this unit up. So inside it, um, it had the destructions. I've put them here to the one side because I've read them back to back for your convenience. There is a power supply with a male jack plug on it. These are always uh, rated at 5 volts and 1 amp. This is no different. It's very small though. Uh, you can see the 3 pin plug arrangement on here which is for the UK of course. But it is worth mentioning that it also came with these adapters. Because that can be unscrewed counterclockwise. And we've got the European, we've got the US and the Australian. So that's brilliant. A bit of forethought there. Um, 
but do not do the US and Australia, of course, that means New Zealand. I think Thailand and a few in South America are all the same. But I like that little touch, thinking outside the box. Uh, talking of boxes, what else have we got in here? We've got two infrared senders, and of course, little sensors there. We want this for our remote control. Again, whether it's for your CCTV or your Sky Television. I'll bring them a little bit closer. Just bear with me one second. I hope you can see them. Um, obviously a 3.5mm jack plug. And this one is tiny. It's about, I don't know, about 12, 13 millimetres in length. And after reading the destructions for you, this goes on to the transmitter end. Because unlike the Technomate, like I said, if you'd seen the video, it actually says on the packet what they are for. And this is the second one, which is obviously different. It's much bigger. Again, your 3.5mm jack plug. And that is about 30 millimetres, about an inch long. And that goes into receive the receiver. That's the one that goes upstairs in your bedroom for the purposes of this video. Next, we've got our two units. Again, if you've seen the video on Technomate, they're identical uh, in size and shape and the little fixings on them so it says their company name on the front hd anywhere but again if you've watched the video on technomate it doesn't actually say on them what they do because the technomate says transmitter and receiver in big bold white writing but not to worry because if you look on the back of them Right in the centre, you might not be able to see here, but look where my finger is. It does say TX and RX, and I'm assuming that means T for transmitter and R for receiver. Either way, you wouldn't struggle, because the unit that goes downstairs, which is the transmitter, will always have two HDMI sockets in it. So don't panic. If it doesn't say on it what it is, that gives this away. So how do we wire this thing up? Well, first of all, we plug the power in to the little jack, the little female, this into our wall and switch it on. Don't leave it, you know, switched off, just plug it in and leave it dumb because it won't do anything. So have that plugged in. See if I can do this. I'm a bit limited for space, but let's give it a go. Next, we plug the uh, little infrared sender for your remote control remember i said i've read the destructions this one goes on the transmitter end which plugs in there so that's ready to rock and roll and then of course we turn the unit round and it does say on the top which is which take your hd lead out of your television for whichever it was like i say your cctv or your uh, sky tv plug it into the hdmi input then get another HDMI lead, and there's plenty of them knocking around. We all get them in boxes. If not, they're a couple of quid. Into the output, and then back into your television slot where you've just taken the input out of. That means the loop is created. Your television downstairs will now work as it always did. But this is now ready to work. You don't need to do much more with this. We'll put that back now. Here's our receiver, it says RX, and this also has a HDMI, but of course it's only got one, because you would plug a lead into this upstairs behind your television, whether it be on a, I don't know, a, a set of drawers or up on your wall, plug the HD lead in, into your television, it doesn't need powering, because it's powered from down here of course, and there is only one slot on this, because that is for the bigger of the infrared sensors. Plug that in and we are ready. So all we need now is the cable that joins these two units. So I've done one for you. Um, I'll just put that out of the way for a second. This is the cable that we use. Either Cat5 or Cat6. Um, Cat6 is better, of course, but a good quality Cat5 full copper copper 
Um, not the usual CCA stuff, which is for um, made-up leads, like this one, for instance. The sort of thing you get in your Sky TV box or with uh, BT uh, Freeset or Freeview boxes, whatever have you. That is just basic CCA Cat5 made-up cable. It's not designed for the bandwidth for HD images and power at the same time. Don't use one of these. So this is a piece of Cat5 full copper copper. We know it's a full copper copper cable because it's 350 megahertz, which means it's the full bananas. And of course, they're your little RJ45 crimpon um, connectors. And obviously that goes into the back of your router. It's the same type as that. Now, this is a four core cable, which means it's actually got eight individual cables in it. Four cores, one, two, three, and four. And each one has got a positive and a negative. So we've got eight. These obviously slot in in a certain way inside this cable, inside this connector. And if you don't know how to do that, all you've got to put into an internet search is the words 568B, and that's B for Bravo. And 568B is the wiring diagram for this. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, we're not doing the direct comparison with these two units because I said they don't claim to do the same thing or the same distance. So we can't give a recommendation really, but this is a recommendation, stand on us. This particular uh, connector and this tool is from a company called Platinum Tools. Now you'll find them online. The only thing that you will find with these units is, whether it's the connectors or the actual crimping tool, they are more expensive than the standard ones. But I said, stand on us guys. We've been using these for years and they are excellent, excellent quality. Buy cheap, buy twice. Get the decent stuff or, of course, borrow somebody else's if you so wish to do so. So what we do is we have, and I've done this in white for you, this is another piece of Cat5 full copper copper cable. You would, of course, put these uh, connections through, your cables through here. They'd be sticking out on the top. Get your crimping tool. Remember, you've done it in the right order, 568B. Push that into there, and that crimps it. Obviously, these have got blades in. The excess falls off. You can always crimp it once or twice. It doesn't matter. Push that back on, because these are the anti-bend glands that are on there, and that's a nice piece of cable. Now, for this video, let's pretend this runs from downstairs. Upstairs, it's 20 metres long, and we've put these connections on. So all we have to do on this unit now is plug the first one in where it says cat yep. and also the second one in where it says cat upstairs. Voila, that's done. It's ready to go. And now the reason why we always say a good cable instead of the old CCA stuff, the made up cables, is this. This is not only carrying the HD, it's also carrying the voltage from this unit up this cable to this unit. So we only need one cable. Of course, that makes it nice and neat. So make sure that is good quality and not rubbish. This is Cat5 um, full copper copper. Cat6 is better. And of course, the ranges that any of these units give all assume that you're using cat six and not cat five copper copper even though it's, it's it runs at a close second so bear that in mind now a couple of things to mention as we said earlier on in the video 2k now there are and this is 2k as well let's take the mate one so this the both 2k now, these are no good if your unit downstairs that uh, we've been talking about today, your Sky Television or your CCTV system, are 4K content. Because clearly, these units, these ones, or these ones, will not allow that content to pass. 4K will not get through these, so don't even bother. The good news is, 
there are 4K units out for Technomate and for HD anywhere. And the difference is about £25, £30 for the units. So it's no big deal. And again, let me draw your attention back to the cable. Good quality cable. Can you imagine 4K going down this horrible made up cable that I was talking about earlier on? There's just no chance. I can imagine on a 30 meter extender like this, using one of these, even in just a 2K model, I bet you wouldn't get 10 meters. With a 4K, <laughs> you probably wouldn't get half a dozen. But there you go, it's what not to use is that particular type of cable. So I hope this video has been informative for you. Um, again, very simple and easy to wire up, so there's no problem there. This is the first one we've had of this particular unit, so I can't really say much more about it. Obviously, we've put hundreds of these Technomate models in, uh, whether it's the 2K, 4K, or the unit that we've done a video on that allows you to use your USB as well. So that's specifically for your um, CCTV systems. But we have been told, it's been reported back to us from a wholesaler that's very close to us, that these are excellent units. They're very pleased because they're not getting faulties, which is a great, great sign. So there you go. HD over cat cable. Very simple talk through, very easy to use. And of course, they're nice and neat. Especially when, of course, if you have to run your cable outside, this would be black, like this one. And of course, a little 7mm clip, 6-7mm clip is perfect for that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> But of course, when they've got these remote um, sensors on them, remember you can use your remote control upstairs to control the unit downstairs. So this is the Technomate, a satellite receiver remote control, but this could be the remote control for your CCTV or your Sky TV. Obviously, they've always got a power button on, nip upstairs when you go to bed, click, on it comes, and of course you can control the volume, channels, anything else that you might want to do top stuff so this is another video from paul here at cctv systems uk talking about hdmi extenders or should we say hd over cat extenders if you need any more help please get in touch um we're struggling with our notifications on youtube at the moment don't know why they're not coming through we're just getting lots of new subscriber notifications so something that we'll have to look at in detail Send us an email, send us a message on our Facebook page. We'll always try our best to help. I will, of course, put this unit on test before it goes out to our customers. I do keep a white piece of 30 metre um, Cat5 full copper cable. So I'll have this on test for a week to 10 days, something like that. When I'm satisfied, it's uh, reliable and does what it says it's going to do. We will, of course, start to stock them fully and installing them for you. So, this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. You all have a cracking day, and I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye now.